Jubilee party leaders have asked Wiper party leader Kalnzo Musioka to ditch Rayla Odinga and join the ruling party. Therakanithi Governor Marami Njuki said that the party is ready to receive Kalnzo to ensure his relevance in the political scene. Governor Njuki added that such a calculated move would benefit Kalnzo and also unite Kenya ahead of the 2022 general election. We will welcome Kalnzo with open arms so that we can work together to develop the country by uniting our county with Ukambani counties, he stated. Tuka, Igmbangam Bampi Patrick Muni Nakod Njuki's statement saying that Kalnzo needs to jump ship for his political survival. Rayla went on to swear himself in as the people's president and within no time, he started calling for elections in August. This shows that he has run out of political ideas and Kalnzo should abandon him, said Munin. The leaders spoke during the launch of the upgrading of the 20-kilometer Kajuki Kaburu Ishiara Road in Chuka slash Igmbangamb constituency. Kalnzo said on Tuesday, February 13, he was ready to support Rayla should he choose to take another stab at the presidency. The former vice president denied allegations that he and two other NASA co-principals were planning to form another coalition without Rayla. One of Kalnzo's allies had said on a TV talk show that Kalnzo, ANCS Mizalia Madavadi and Ford Kenya's Moses Wetangula were crafting a new outfit ahead of the 2022 showdown. He likened his relationship with Rayla to one between conjoined twins. I am in NASA to stay. We only had an issue with NRM but that has been resolved. NASA is a registered coalition of parties and we will remain members. I will not abandon Rayla, but will stick to the ideals of NASA as a registered coalition. I stood with Rayla in 2013, stood by him in 2017 and I will still support him if need be. I am not a selfish leader. Rayla and I are twins and whoever thinks they will cause disunity in NASA should think again, said Kalnzo. He also denied reports he is scheduled to take oath as the People's Deputy President on February 28. He spoke in Athi River during the Wiper Women's League convention.